Does everyone, do you have ashes or if you do just sort of have those with you? If not, when we get to that part of the liturgy, uh, you can just mark your forehead with the sign of the cross. The, the invitation matters more than the ashes, right? The ashes are just ashes. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you hate nothing you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and honest hearts, so that truly repenting of our sins, we may receive from you, the God of all mercy, full pardon and forgiveness through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. This is the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. 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 Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up treasures for yourselves on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust consumes and where thieves do not break in and steal. For wherever your treasure is, there your hearts will be also. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord. Lord. Dear friends in Christ, today with the whole church, we enter into the time of remembering Jesus' Passover from death into life as our life in Christ is renewed. We begin this holy season by acknowledging our need for repentance and for God's mercy. We are created to experience joy and communion with God to love one another, to live in harmony with God's creation. But our sinful rebellion separates us from God, our neighbors in creation, so that we do not enjoy the life our creator intended. But as disciples of Jesus, we are called to a discipline that contends against evil and resists whatever leads us away from love of God and love of neighbor. I invite you, therefore, to the discipline of Lent self-examination and repentance, prayer and fasting, sacrificial giving and works of love, strengthened by the gifts of word and sacrament. Dear friends, let us continue our journey through these 40 days to the great three days of Jesus's death and resurrection. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most holy and oh, merciful, merciful God, God. We confess, we confess to you, to you and, and to one another and before, and before the whole company of heaven, heaven that we, we have, have sinned by, by our fault, by our own faults, fault, by our own, own, own most greatest fault, in thought, our word, 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 and deed, by what we have done and what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. 
We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Have mercy on us. We shut our ears to your call to serve as Christ served us. We have not been true to the mind of Christ. We have grieved your Holy Spirit. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Our past unfaithfulness, the pride, envy, hypocrisy, and the apathy that have infected our lives, we confess to you. Have mercy, have mercy on us, O oh God. God. Our self indulgent appetites and ways, and our exploitation of other people, we confess to you. Have mercy, have mercy on us, oh God. God. Our negligence in prayer and worship, and our failure to share the faith that lives in us, we confess to you. Have mercy, mercy on us, oh God. Us, oh God. Our neglect of human need and suffering and our indifference to injustice and cruelty, we confess to you. Have our mercy, mercy on us, O oh God. Oh God. <clears throat> our false judgments, our uncharitable thoughts toward our neighbors, and our prejudice and contempt toward the, those who are different from us, we confess to you. Have, have mercy, mercy on us, O oh God. God. Our waste and pollution of your creation and our lack of concern for those who come after us, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O oh God. Restore us, O oh God, and let your anger depart from us. Hear, Hear us, O oh God, God, for your mercy, your mercy is great. Is great. Almighty God, you have created us from the dust of the earth. May these ashes be a sign of our mortality in penitence, reminding us that only by the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ are we given eternal life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And if you have ashes, you can impose them on yourself at this time. Or if you don't, you can mark your forehead with the sign of the cross as you remember your baptism. And remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Accomplish in us, O God, the work of your salvation, that we may we show forth, forth your glory in this world. world. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Savior, bring, bring us with all, all the, saints, the joy of his resurrection. resurrection. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Relying on the promises of God, we pray boldly now for the church, the world, and all God's people in need. O oh God, you call your church to be ministers of reconciliation throughout the world. Inspire your church in its proclamation of the gospel and guide its ministries to build up the body of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh God, you created the earth and its inhabitants, and you declared that it is good. Protect mountains and valleys, animals and plants, and direct us to be good stewards of all that you have made. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our God. prayer. <clears throat> o oh God, you desire peace. Direct governments and leaders to work for the well-being of all people and raise up advocates to speak and serve on behalf of the downtrodden. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh God, you are our hope in the midst of despair, our help in the midst of sorrow, and our consolation in the midst of affliction. Grant comfort to all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, and support those who attend all in need. If you have any petitions, I invite you to offer those at this time. Alice, Fred, Peter, my, John, Ed, my mom, George. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Oh God, you are our life and our salvation. We give you thanks for the righteous who have died in faith. Inspire us by their example to proclaim your steadfast love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We entrust ourselves and our prayers to you, O God. 
through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 And gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those, those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. And now go forth into the world to serve God with gladness. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. But strengthen the faith heart, faint-hearted, support the weak, help the afflicted, honor all people, and love and serve God, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit.